to duty focus on what is your subject there. Please help out. Uh, help each other in focusing. Don't talk about other things. And I ask deacons, workers to be deacons, or parents, to remind others to focus. Ask them to focus, tell them to listen. Do not allow them to talk about other things, okay? So, there should not be any distraction among you. So, uh, I request everyone to observe each other also. Okay. So, if uh, you have a spoiled baby who will make a noise, if you do not give it to everything he or she wants, bring them outside temporarily. Okay. So, but if you can assert them right now, tell them to listen, okay? Don't let the cuteness of the baby uh, get your attention. So, my subject is a spin-off from progressive ministry versus traditional ministry. I'm gonna focus on the pastor. If you have a copy, uh, Sister, I wish if you can flash the tracks progressive versus, tradi versus traditional uh, ministry, you flash the tracks here. I already asked Parmenon to put it there a long time ago. And I also personally uh, have it put there. So it should be there, the laptop. Now, <clears throat> what is the role of a pastor? Uh, I'm going to give you a trial right now to adopt your children beside you, even your children. Open your scriptures to 1 Timothy chapter 3. So, if you have children beside you, assist them to open up. Look up Brother David, he's not doing it. Oh, where's your Bible? So, you're doing something else under me. So, focus. I hope there's a worker here, so part of my load will be taken up. So, how, how many of you have opened the scriptures? Raise your hand. Raise your hand, right now. Just a few, one, two, three. How about the others? Sister Mima. Sister Oya, have you opened it up? Raise your hand. Please participate. If you have opened up, please raise your hand. How many have already opened up First Timothy chapter 3? Everyone who have opened up, please raise your eye. Raise it higher. Okay. Now, look for the word, the qualification of a bishop. A bishop means overseer. Episcopos. An overseer is more the work of a pastor but others can oversee, like teacher, prophet, evangelist, apostle, prophet. What does the overseer do? Look beside you. Look at the children beside you, the parents beside you. They're opening up their scriptures. How many have looked up beside you? Say amen. amen. So, overseeing is looking over them. You do that in supervising your children. You do that in supervising brethren. So in the church, the congregation are spiritual children. Turning the hearts of the children back to the fathers. This is a progressive application wherein you have a progressive ministry you oversee them. So other denomination knows this, or those who are uh, studious with the Word of God. But we are going progressive. What do we need to oversee? The simplest instruction of opening the scriptures, asking about it. That is overseeing. How about denominational overseeing? They visit the houses, 
Is any of you sick? Is anyone among you that is sick? Lay their hands. That's also overseeing. Other churches grow in quantity because they felt they are taken care of. But pampering, I would say that's pampering, like a pampering a baby. Uh, a while ago, the youngest uh, daughter of Sister Bernal was shouting angrily, smacking Zen at the face. I told Sister Mima, why do you allow that to happen? I, I'm not at home. I just came over. I don't know if it's true. I also told Sister Jennifer, Oh, why do you allow that to happen? At least write on your elder sister. So, you could oversee because you don't want a single mosquito to land on them. You give them everything that is good physically. But the most important thing to oversee is the spiritual aspect. In your homes, you might not be as concerned with the spiritual aspect of your children as you do to their physical. Oh, I forgot to tell Brother Jake. I hope you broadcasted from Progressive to Next Week. English show. So, the spiritual aspect is the most important thing. It's forgivable if you omit certain physical aspects. But if you omit the spiritual aspect, you are in idolatry. So we're talking of the family. But we're going to go to the church. I'm calling to all ministers, overseers. So it's not just one. In a church, there does not necessarily have to be one overseer. I, I, it's nothing wrong. There is nothing wrong if there is only one. But if the church is to grow, there should be many overseers. What do? Why does it have to be many? Because there need to be helps among each other. That's how the church grows. But in the church, if ministers couldn't care less about the spiritual aspect, then it is a dying church. Amen. Dying in spiritual growth. You have your growth stunted. So, you have opened First Timothy chapter 3. Look for the word wherein uh, it talks about control and training, assert authority. Those who are first to answer, can answer. Look for the verse. Uh, sorry, not the verse, the word. Sister Jaya, Patrick, Rap Rap, Jim Jim. What word? What word? What word means assert authority? Rule? Okay, that's one. But I want the names I mentioned to answer. Alem, Rap Rap, Patrick, Jaya. Uh, Jim Jim, Irish. What is the right? What other word? Rule with all. This is used for the wife to the husband. Rule with all. Household. No, for a certain authority. Rule with all. Okay. The word gravity is seriousness. What do you mean by the word subjection? Let's all say subjection. subjection. Everyone shout together. Subjection. I might not finish everything I wish to say because I'm going too slow. But it's alright as long as you're learning. 
subjection, gravity means seriousness, household means your family, subjection means authority, assertion. Assertion of authority. When you say assertion, when the parents said so, the children obey. Sister Petra, what should you do if the children do not obey? What should you do? Punishment. What kind of punishment, Sister Shirley? What kind of punishment? Huh? House chores? What immediate punishment? Sister... Sister Jaya, what immediate punishment? Oh, she couldn't answer. She's afraid to give punishment. What immediate punishment? Run. Run? Let's give Jim Jim a big hand. Yeah. So Sister Shirley, it's your fault. You remove the rat. You do not assert. Your children go outside. They Their free time are not used up. Later, I'm going to talk about that in Tagalog. So, a pastor oversee the training of the family to assert authority. The question is, is there a training for the family already? Who is actively involved? Could you raise your hands if you're actively involved? Just one, just two, just three. So, let's make a commitment. If ministers do not actively involve, you could not progress. We could not progress. So, I'm gonna ask right now as a challenge. Who among you wants to be actively involved in training the family to have subjection? Raise your hand. I'm not saying you already did that. I'm saying you want to commit yourself. Raise your hand. You want to commit yourself to God. Don't put it down immediately. Just stay upright. I want to see them all. Who among you wants to commit yourself? Okay. God bless you. God will bless you if you commit yourself. Because if you do that, God will anoint your household. God will anoint your household. You may not you may be weak, you may not have power over your household. But if you wish to minister to others, of course you should receive instruction, but to tell them you will receive the anointing that you will also have power over your household. I tell you, church, listen to me. You're not going anywhere even if you grow in number. You're not going to go anywhere unless, unless you commit yourselves to this ministry. This is the ministry within a church. What does an apostle do? He said of God. An apostle could be a pioneer in a revelation. An apostle could also be a leader of many churches. There are many criteria to become an apostle. An apostle could also be oversee the man the training of every church. By the way, what kind of training are we talking about? Could you shout it? What kind of training as an individual? What kind of training should a pastor, apostle, dispense in the churches? Shout it out! No one could shout? Okay. The individual aspect is Berean. Let's all say Berean. Well, we do not stop at Berean. We also train supposedly 
in a church. There should be training for couples. Couples is under shout, shout it out. And if the couple has a family, the training goes to shout it out. Shout the acronym. Okay. So after the family, then the whole church. And what do you call that? If the whole church is being trained. Shout it out! Shout it out! So an apostle can supervise that. But also an apostle can also supervise other menial things. So please check your uh, children's uh, cell phone if they're looking up anything. An apostle could be uh, dispensing all those things. A prophet reveals mysteries from God. The Lord will do nothing but reveals these secrets to his servants, the prophets. The end time world only limited it to Brother Branham as a prophet that can reveal mysteries. But they ignore the fivefold minister prophet also reveals mysteries. That's what they could not accept. When I say reveal, something new. It's not something recycled from the old. Yet you should be called the prophet because you recycled it from the old, but you're just carrying over someone else's ministry. But if you are progressive, God will reveal new things to you. Now, as a prophet, your mystery could be useless things to the church or to the family. You could tell, even if it's true. First Corinthians chapter 30, open up. Open up. First Corinthians chapter 13. There are no, not much foster parents here. Now, no, we're not going to read. I want you to answer this. First Corinthians chapter 13. In chapter 13. Oh, okay. No. Nah. In uh, in Christ the volume, the prepul, the prepul. Okay, in First Corinthians chapter the prepul. I check the echo if it's down. Is the echo down? The prepul in Christ the prepul. If he doesn't know what the prepul is, maybe help him out, brother. Ah, brother, me the prepul. Okay. So uh, okay, that's good. Now, in Corinthians thirteen. This is already working. <laughs> Save it for a little bit. In 1 Corinthians 30, um, look for the verse and the key word that says, uh, you may know the deep things of God, but you may miss out on the most important thing. Okay. Now, I enjoy Sister Jaya to read it for us. So, would you read it for us, Sister Jaya? Adopt your other children. By the way, I'm going to say something before she reads. Parents, parents, listen to me. Ask your children to read it in your ear. So they will not be doing nothing, okay? Ask them to read it beside your ear, not just point out speaker. So, Bernard, read it for Bernard. Sister Joanna, read it for Bernito. I have to mention this one by you because you're not exactly doing it immediately. Brother Allen, read it to Sister Anna or Sister Beba or 
Someone else. Sister Baby, ask Sister Maika to read it for you. Okay. Read it in your ear, okay? Okay. Just okay. Read it aloud with the microphone, okay? Okay, I wish to hear many whisperings as she is reading it. Okay, go. What verse? Verse 2. Oh, verse 2. She already gave it, okay? By the way, overseers, ministers, look around you, sister. Dear. Look around you. They're asking. Okay, go ahead. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountain and have a charity, I am happy. So, Brother Jake, did this to do our favorite thing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have your children read it with you? Okay. You do that permanently, okay? Every time a verse is being read, whether the pastor is reading it, and ministers, listen to me. Always remind everyone to ask their children, adopt the children, to read it for them. They will learn English, they will be focused. Okay? This is how we progress. If you don't do that, the church will die. We're just sitting ritually here. You get the picture? This small thing that you're gonna do is what's gonna make the difference whether this church progresses or not. If you're not gonna do that, there will be people left behind in the desert. Okay, when Sister Jaya read that, what are the key words? Charity, that's one. Sister Jaya, what are the key words? The, 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 the word that I'm, the key word I'm looking for is saying that it's not the big things, but that, uh, that our revelation should be focused upon, but the more important things. Keywords. Give me keywords. That's what was the first thing. Rapra can. And other. No, don't be out. Just shout it out. Let's get the food from the English. Oh, what other words? No words? Can you follow? She's the bitch. Faith. Okay, but Rapra. Patrick, no more. Okay. Jim Jim, shout it out. You know, let me hear Brother Allen. Miss Kitty. Brother Allen. Allen versus Jim Jim. Go. Oh. You know, Jim Jim, you're correct, but Allen is more complete. Let's give God a big hand. Okay. So, you understand lots of mysteries, but you don't have. Love! Everyone say love. Love. Charity. Charity. You don't have love if you understand all mysteries, but you miss out on the most important revelation or mystery of all. You could grow deeper by yourself, but you leave others behind. So we have evangelist. What does the, an evangelist do? Perfect. What does an evangelist do? Sister Shirley? Huh? Good answer. Outreach. Everyone say outreach. Outreach. Remember, outreach doesn't have to be far. Even your neighbor is an outreach. Your friend. Your, your aunt. Could you uh, say it louder? Public preaching. Yes. Shout out, amen? Amen. Let's all say public preaching. Public preaching. We should be doing that. Parents, you should be supervising your children to do that. Now, now we have the pastor. I'm putting it in all caps. And then the teacher. If you understand big in mysteries but you do not have love, means you do not oversee for those who are being left behind, then it's a tingling symbol. 
So it's it's not it's not it's not wrong to progress. It is wrong if you are progressing only by yourself. You should progress alongside with the rest. Like the children of Israel. The prophet cannot go be, leave them behind. Then to drag, even though they are murmurers. Moses wanted to give up because there are lots of murmurings. But he stayed on. That's the true pastor. You don't have to be deep. You just need to implement the training. So a pastor, with all subjection, the role of a pastor is connected to the hukum is a Hebrew Arabic word judge counseling ministry. It teaches you what to do. It doesn't teach you just doctrines. Part of that doctrine are instructional doctrines. Let's give some scriptures to that. John chapter 20, verse 22. Please read for us. Brother Pat. Amen. Did you know that you should be struggling to whom it will be given to be read? Because that is getting the blessing. Every parent should struggle. Oh, I want to. Oh, don't forget what did I say a while ago, Sister Shirley. If someone is reading, what should you be doing if someone will be reading? God. What should you be doing? John twenty twenty two. When someone is reading, I'm going to say it for the second time. You should be reminding each other. When I ask someone to read, I want others to read it also. Your children in your after time to whisper. Even there's a chair between you. Okay, go. And when he had said it, he prayed unto them and said unto them, The ship and the Holy Ghost. John 20, 22. Or 21. Then said Jesus to them, Peace be unto you, as my Father has sent me, even so I said. I think I said 23. 23. Oh, ask them to read beside your ear. 23. Whosoever sees the enemy, they are so related unto them. Whosoever sees the enemy, they, they are related. Oh, what did she read for you? Ask them to read for you. Ask them to read for you, even if he is over. Whosoever sins ye retain, they retain. Whosoever sins they are remitted, they are remitted. How? How? How will your sins be remitted? This is like a confession of the Catholic. Actually, because of the instruction, the minister, the judge, the counselor, will give you something to do that your sins may be blotted out. It's like Elijah instructing Naaman to dip himself in the dirty pool of water. If he will just follow the instruction, he will be cleansed of his leprosy. So, church, listen to me. You have to minister to each other. Now, the problem is, Maybe some of you don't feel you need have this need. But a true pastor will tell this need. Just like the preacher, the Bible thumping preacher. Repent, for you are all going to hell. Your destination is hell. But you can change that course by accepting Jesus Christ. How many of you shares that to each other. That's the very basic uh, Protestant evangelism. Well, it's the same true with us. Because Jesus Christ in the Word 
God, Christ is knocking at your door. How is Christ knocking at your door? There should be a minister knocking at your door. There's no one knocking at our door. Okay. If there's no one knocking at your door, the message right now is knocking at your door. Amen. Every minister, your heart is also being knocked. Every parent, your heart is being knocked. Every young people, your heart is being knocked. Don't come. But it's not drugs. Uh, for it, I should not understand the word to come. <laughs> I already know you understand that. So, we should be doing that. You know, if the president wants to cleanse the nation of drugs, he's willing to go to every extent to do that. How about us? We here right now. You understand communion? You understand Hanukkah? You understand cleansing? What should you be cleansing? Our brethren, our families, our church members, brethren in the local church. This is a community of believers. What should we be doing? Putting off the unleavened. I'm sorry. Putting off that leaven. Putting off the things that are not worthy to be said. Now, a pastor should help supervise the implementation of judge counseling ministry. ministry. So what is the progressive work of a pastor today? You're not just standing here at the pulpit shouting at others. You should be contacting them. Reckoning them, admonishing them, asking others to admonish, asking others to reckon too. That's how you should manage it. Every one of you are called by God to do that. Some of you might just be thinking about yourself. Some of you might not only be thinking about your own family. But you belong to a church. You should be concerned. If there are lukewarm brethren in our church, you should minister to them. Parents, listen to me. There's nothing wrong if you talk about other things. But what if there are people that is half dead, dying spiritually? Open up your eyes. Maybe you have not seen that yet. Maybe we will still live in a world like the Matrix, a world of pleasantness, Satan's Eden. Open up your eyes. You're all the sea. You should see spiritually there is something lacking when young babies do not focus. Why, are, why aren't you reminding the parents you should be telling her, him, to listen. When two children joke with each other without any foster parent, why shouldn't, why aren't you adopting them? If you see they're not doing, just remind them. It's very easy. It's not, this is not very hard ministry. So I'm, I'm calling not just the pastor, everyone. The gift of a pastor is not just to a singular person. The gift of a pastor is to whom, who, to whomever it comes upon if you are willing to surrender yourself to God's service. Amen. You could look around you. You could immediately see if they're focused or not. Even during preaching, children joking with each other. Remind their parents, just a whisper. Don't need to shout at them or rebuke them harshly. Just whisper to them what they should be doing. That's progressive ministry. And it's so simple. I'm, not, I'm bored of doing that. We have a bald brother that uh, uh, are not used to doing that. That it, we, you, we are. Uh, that is the time when, similar to me, when I was a beginner. I only think of myself. 
Don't worry, Carly, you also know it's also bad. <laughs> so, um, we, if we only think of ourselves and you rebuke the parents, you should be doing that at home. Do it here. This is your training ground. Now, the time we have here is very short. Use up every moment. It's similar to your child. Your child will not stay with you forever. Once they become a teenager and you let them also go to ordinary schools, they, their heart will be captured by others. If you don't train them in evangelism, take up their time, their heart will be captured by others. So, the same time, the short time you have with your children, the short time we also have every Sunday. The main battle is at home. But here, during break time, is also a battle. During preaching, there is also a battle. Are you looking over the cell phone if, if it's transcribing or they're looking up other things? Not just right now. Every time, anytime, look over their cell phone. If they're focused on transcribing or looking up something else. So, it's high time we help each other. If you don't help each other, maybe we would envy those mega churches. Oh, look at the young people there. They're so uh, active. But they don't have any instruction. But they're left themselves to joke around. The pastor would just give them a minimum requirement, just look for a co-believer, that's all. Uh, just be active in our church, just, just do, don't, don't do bad things. They don't have to share, there's no requirement to share, there's no requirement to report, to transcribe. There's no requirement to evangelize. How many minutes have I taken up here in English? How many minutes? 30? 36. Okay, let's cut the English and we'll switch to Tagalog. Okay, tutuloy ko to sa Tagalog. May papel pa lang binigay, no? Pakibabasa natin sa mga paborito. Uh, ulitin ko. Para tayo lumago. Okay, bagong record, bagong record pa rin. 